get ready to go. Just keep moving. I know it's tough. We are burning right now. We're almost there. I am dripping sweat. Good job. There we go. Killed that. Welcome back to the Blue Star Channel. I'm Little T. And I'm Austin Dotson. And this is this week's Faster, Faster Fat, Fat Loss, Loss Workout. Workout. As you can see, we have a little bit more equipment with us here today, so it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. We have some dumbbells and bench. So if you have a home gym, this is perfect for you, or you can even do it at a commercial gym if you have access. In terms of how the workout's gonna work, it's going to be super set, so back-to-back -back exercises. The first one's gonna be rep-based, and the second one's going to be time-based, followed by a 60-second break. And then at the very end of each of the supersets, we're gonna have a whole two-minute break before we get into the second set. And make sure you guys pace yourself. It's gonna be a challenging workout, okay? So if you want more of these, please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Let's get ready to work. Let's go. Ready? Let's get ready to go. Starting with shorter press. In three, two, one, let's go. After those five reps, you do have the rest of the minute to take a little bit of a break. So just going over form really quick with our shoulder press. We want to have our feet firmly into the ground. We want to have contact with our shoulders and our bum, making sure the elbows come just slightly below 90 degrees, get that full range of motion, pressing up right overhead and then coming back down. Breathing in again, so big breath in, and as you're pushing out, breath out. Have your breath work with you, not against you on these exercises. Remember, it's not a race to the finish. You get five perfect ones, okay? Remember, it's a superset, so let's get ready to go. You're about to feel this one. Whole 60 seconds, let's get it. Getting that elbow right to that same elbow. So knee to elbow. It's a full 60 seconds, so if you have to take a little bit of break, jump right back into it. Just keep moving. Halfway there, come on, keep pushing. I know it's tough. The blood into my shoulders right now, guys. Whew. So even though those shoulder presses might have felt easy at five, trust me, you want to save your energy. You want to make sure you have them for those mountain climbers. So if it is easy, you can always go slower tempo, but do try to make sure you're not going too aggressive. So that way you're going to burn out on that second exercise. Whew. Also, there, are, there is modifications for the spider mountain climbers, the steps, okay? But there is no modification with weights. The only thing you can do is lower the weight. If that becomes too hard, you can always go with your regular arms. Whew, that break's going fast. We got 15 more seconds, guys. Let's get him up. make sure my arms stay down for this one. I want all the blood to flow out of my arms. Remember, it's okay to modify if you need to. This is a long 60 seconds, okay? This is longer than a playing 60 seconds. When you said halfway last time, I was like, you're lying. Mm -hmm. You're a liar. Whew. If you modify, it's perfectly okay. Just make sure you finish the workout. You can modify, you can take a little bit of a break, just jump right back into it. Let's go. 
form over mm -hmm. everything. So if you do need to make those changes, you definitely can. I'm, going, I'm dropping down to the modification. My shoulders are burnt, but I'm still moving, okay? 30 seconds, a little break for me. Jump right back into it. Whew. Almost there, come on, keep pushing. 15 more seconds. Big deep breaths. We are burning right now. Oh yeah. Ooh. My shoulders are on fire. 170, heart rate. Let's I'm not even moving much. So you know it's working. See the sweat pouring on? And we only have set one. So make sure you pace yourself. This is why only five of these. Make sure you get a weight that you can control. Don't be ego lifting, trying to be super strong, trying to prove somebody wrong, and then proving yourself wrong. Quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. All right, ready for this last set? Let's get it. Yes. Yes. If you can do more, do a couple more. But make sure they're perfect reps, okay? Know that I have more than 40 seconds of rest right now, okay? I use that rest because I know I'm getting ready to kill myself on this, this next workout. So make sure, make sure you, you judge it correctly. This body weight spider mountain climber is killing me right now. Taking advantage of this break, 15 more seconds. Let's Ready? Go. <laughs> Let's get it. Before you drop down to the modification, make sure you can do the workout first. Give it everything you got first. Dropping down, still moving. A little shake out for my shoulders. 30 second mark. Whew. I have to drop down to the steps. Let's finish, let's finish. We're almost there. Super set one, almost done. Good job. Got two, two minutes, minutes of rest, okay? Two minutes of rest. Take this time to really recalibrate, okay? Shake it off, shake it off. Breathe, get water, stretch a little bit if you need to. You got two minutes, take advantage of it. We're also gonna set up for our next station as well. So we gotta move out some of the equipment. So if you're in a home gym or a commercial gym, this is just typically how you'd work out. You kind of have to adjust, move things, completely normal. So, take out this bench. Create lots of room. We're doing bent over dumbbell rows and then burpee box jumps. So, got our boxes nice and set. 
I'm gonna drop weight. I'm not gonna go with the 60s. I'm gonna stay with 40s. Form, form over everything. Make sure you're doing it correctly. Get your weights out the way if you've got extra. Full minute break here, so just really quickly gonna break down that row. We wanna make sure that we're hinging in our hips, tightening our core, nice proud shoulders. We're gonna pull the dumbbells in, nice pinch in between our shoulder blades, elbows nice and high, and then bringing it down. Avoid doing any type of rocking motion. We wanna make sure it's nice and isolated. So again, picking a weight that's gonna be appropriate for those five reps, in addition to the cardio we're gonna do right after. So just making sure you're paying attention to that, specifically for the superset. And for our box jumps, which is our second superset right here, you step down, okay? We would jump up, but step down, okay? We wanna protect our knees. And there's modifications for the burpee if you need it. So let's get ready to work. Okay, ready, set. Pick them up. Get into, get into form. I felt a little bit easy for me, okay? So I might go with the 60s or I might just add extra reps, okay? So for safety, I'll add extra reps for this 40s and that way I can, I can just feel the movement a little bit more, okay? I'm gonna see how I feel after the burpees and Taylor will make some adjustments that. Is after true. that. <laughs> That's true, that's true. Jump ahead now, there you go. Box jump burpees, 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's intimidating a little bit, but we're gonna give it our best go. As long as we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> Just fear on our face. Modification here, you can only just go to a high plank instead of the full push-up, big box jump up. You can also change the level of the box itself. Good job. That was solid. Whew. I feel that. Nice even pace, I think. For me, I just tried to go like a nice even pace so I wasn't gonna have to rest midway. That was good. The heart rate elevates for me after I stopped. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. After you're like, oh my God. <sighs> Take the time to rest, as we always say. Take the time to rest. Breathe deep, slow the heart rate down. We want quality reps, quality reps. It's not a race. Ooh. So that was one down, two to go for this superset. Feel yeah. pretty good. I'm gonna add a couple more reps. I'll go for 10 Ooh. of these. A couple more reps, doubles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn a slight 45 degrees so you guys can see me a little better. Mm -hmm. Good form. Reach your elbows back. Do an eight. Pretty good. Out the way. We still have lots of time to rest. 35 seconds. All right, this is all about pacing yourself. Don't, don't try to be a hero, and now you have nothing left, okay? Make sure you can, can get through the workout, okay? Don't go all out, and actually you, know, you can't do the rest of the workout. Just pace yourself, but make sure you're challenging yourself, okay? If the jumps become too hard, we can always just do a nice step up, down and up, make it into a step up box burpee. 
That's a great modification. Absolutely. Five seconds. Remember, modifications are available if you need them. Don't be ashamed. Take them. Take my rest. Full advantage. Woo. Get some water. Woo. Walk it out a little bit. Now, I don't know about you, for your burpees, I'm doing a little bit more of like a, a roll up on mine instead of like a full push up. So that also is a modification. You can totally progress it into a full push up, which I think Austin's doing. Mine from the side. I'm going down like a full push up, but I'm more bending and rolling to come back up. Just to make it a little bit easier, I can move a little faster. Still challenging, but a little bit modified. Last Let's set. Go. Last one. Let's pick up our weights safely. Good form. I know you're tired. Weight should come down by shin level, right below the knees. Don't shrug, it's not a shrug. There we go. Eight reps for me. Get that rest. Remember, it's not a shrug, okay? Just throwing our elbows back, squeezing. A little sip. These burpees are no joke. Box jump burpees. Woo. All right, 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Last set. Last set. Last Focusing on our breathing. <laughs> Try to get two more in. Two-minute break. Wow. Recovery time. I'm going to use these backs as advantage. Let's see for me. Woo. All right, we got floor chest press next. I think so. Bench, I lied. Bench. Okay, so let's move these boxes out. Let's get it. Just like we said, we have to sub some things in and out. These go away. And these come back in. I'm gonna put myself on a 45. 
I'll go straight on. The bench will be laid flat. So adjusting it, making sure it's in the right spot. So it's nice and flat and sturdy. You want this front seat also nice and flat so our feet can fit comfortably. So we're doing chest press with the bench as well as the face melters, which sound terrifying, but trust me, they're okay. I'm gonna scoop this out just a little bit more so I can give you some space for the face melter. Yeah, I'm gonna do mine. Which way do I wanna do them? You guys are witnessing firsthand the struggles of moving equipment. All right. So really quick, while we still have a little break, the face melters, because I know they're not a common exercise, are gonna be here. So again, shoulders are about to burn. So we wanna be smart with our weights. Make sure your, uh, your bench is stable when doing your presses. Sixties again. Yeah. Much you know, stronger. All right. So for our chest press, similar to our shoulder press, there are a couple, couple form things I want to touch on. Feet nice and flat on the ground. If you're short, like me, sometimes you do have to put like a little bit of a rise or something for our feet to sit on. Laying back, bum has contact, shoulders have contact. Coming down just a little bit past our chest, get that full stretch. Pressing straight up. We don't want too wide, and we don't want our arms behind us, right on top. All right. Okay, ready? Ooh, almost <laughs> hit my face, not melted my face. This is a pretty difficult exercise, so make sure you pace yourself, please. It's a long 60 seconds. We are halfway. As we go through this, I've adjusted my hands a couple times, just because as I get a little bit more tired, I need to be a little bit more flat, make it a little easier on myself. Fifteen more seconds. That is difficult. My face is melted. I just feel the oh, sweat just, just, just coming closer uh, to myself. That's the first time I've ever done that workout, exercise. It's difficult. That's a burner. It is. Whew. Now I'm making second guess. Do I really want to pick up the 60s now? Right? You could always go slower. You can make them slower, more controlled. Ooh. Wow. Add a little <laughs> tempo, pause at the bottom. Tons of ways to make it a little more difficult while maintaining the same weight. There's tons of ways to make it a little more challenging if needed, but I'm gonna stick with my 30s over here. <laughs> train smart, train smart. We still have two more rounds of this. Okay. Whew. Let's pick up our weights safely. So remember our form. Let's lean back. Coming down 90, back up. Breathe in, breathe out. I chose All to right. do eight that time. Still did my reps. All right, I just need a little bit more rest for this next one. This next one's this tough. This next one's pretty tough. Face melters. So yeah, for that one, I started relatively close to the bench, but as I got a little more tired, I had to edge my hands out a little bit just so I wasn't getting too tired in that shoulder area. Just make myself a little bit more doable for that one. I slowed my pace down on my feet because my shoulders were just absolutely Annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> They're abused. 
All right. I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. Now that I know what to expect. Make sure you're looking where those feet go so you don't stumble. Control the breathing as best you can. We are halfway. If your wrists start to get sore, just take a little break, pop right back into it. 15 more seconds. I am dripping sweat. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Did a little remix at the end there. Wow. Oh. We are a little sticky. Okay. How you feel? I'm working. I feel I'm working exhausted. Hard. It's good. But I feel though. good. I feel good. It's a good though. I'm sweating. Sweating. You see this? You see this? You're sparkling. That's sparkling. It's real work. These exercises are difficult, but they're doable. Okay. Always Modifications modify. is always available. All right. Last set. Best set. Little sippy sip. Oh, I thought you were gonna reach for those 60s. Oh no, I should. You sure, I'll do 40 if you do 60. Well, you got 10 seconds to decide. All right, what are you oh, doing? <laughs> Cheated, you got the, the reps. Weeps. Weep. Oh. Weep. oh, yeah. Eight big ones. How you like that? Woo! Woo! Solid. I still got about 35 seconds to rest. So Good little challenge at the end. Open up your chest. Open up your lungs. And just pray to the shoulder gods that they will not fall off on this last one. Woo! All right, 20 seconds. Mentally getting ready for this one. Let's go. Here we go. Ten seconds. I'm watching. I'm watching. Face melt. <laughs> He's watching you. These exercises are designed to challenge you. Because if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. So push through it. I know it burns. It's okay. Get reward from it. We're almost halfway. <sighs> to save my wrists a little bit, I just turned them out on a slight 45. <sighs> that just makes it a little bit easier for me to stay up and just modifies my wrist position. <sighs> because I went heavier in that weight, I feel a little bit more now. 10 more seconds. I owe you guys a couple reps, so don't mind me. I have to finish. Woo! Putting that extra work. Wow. Is that Boston? There you go. Killed that. Whew. Gotta finish. It's all about the finish. Finish strong. Take advantage of this two minute break. I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching because I know my shoulders are gonna feel it tomorrow. So I'm just gonna use my bench. You can also use a couch chair, whatever you have. Just gonna stretch out a little bit, opening up those shoulders, my lats, everything. I'm gonna do the opposite direction. Just stretching out those shoulders because 
the face melters and those spiders absolutely <sighs> annihilated me. I'll just let you guys know that was 400 calories for me. Damn. 400 calories. In just about like that. 26 minutes. Mm hmm. Goes to prove. Whew. That was a good hybrid one. I liked how that one had strength, it had a little bit of body weight. It Absolutely. was perfect. And they're deceiving. You would think, oh, mountain climbers, that's the easy part. That was definitely the harder part for me. The body weight stuff. Mm hmm. That was harder. Those uh, face melters felt melted. Oh, I Absolutely. thought I was gonna just, my arms were just gonna uh, seep into the floor. My shorts turned into a small, yeah, they started off as a medium. Little short shorts over no. here. Hey, if the legs ain't out, that means you ain't working. I, I, I didn't make the rules, you know, I just follow them. Austin out here showing up. Whew. Nice, killed it. Good job. That was it for today's workout. That was the EMOM, so every minute on the minute. This was a perfect workout, nice and challenging and quick. So it's perfect if you are a little bit shorter on time and want to finish your week off nice and strong. How'd you feel with that one? This was my first EMOM and it's very challenging for me. So the thing, a couple keys I want to give you guys is to pace yourself. Don't try to go all out in the first because you won't have anything left at the end, okay? This is designed to challenge you, okay? Because if it won't challenge you, it won't change you, all right? This is a considered a hit workout designed to to burn fat, not so much build muscle. So you wanna do this two or three times a week, okay? You don't wanna make it an uphill battle to build muscle, all right? If you guys like this workout, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. It's Austin and Taylor, and we'll see you guys next time.